This is Aaron True with MMA Prime TV and today I am joined by female MMA 115 pound rising star Carla Esparza. How are you doing today? I'm good. Uh, just getting those last few pounds off before I fly out tomorrow. You have a pretty exciting fight coming up this weekend. You're fighting another uh, well-known female MMA rising star Felice Herrig. Uh, tell us how you guys match up. Um, I think we match up pretty good. I think it's the traditional striker versus grappler kind of a situation, but um, she's uh, improved her game. I know she has some ground and some wrestling, and as my last few fights show, I have a pretty good stand-up game too, so I think it'll be an exciting fight. You're a two-time All-American collegiate wrestler, and she's known for her stand-up. Uh, do you think you're going to try to utilize your ground game to win this fight? Um, I think I think we're definitely going to end up on the ground at some point, but um, I mean, I plan to strike with her. I know that you know my stand-up matches up well with hers. I have good striking. My striking has been improving every day that I've been training with my coach, Colin Oyama. So. Um, I'm not sure what exactly my game plan is. I never usually really have one, but, you know, I think I think we'll end up on the ground for sure at some point. In terms of experience, do you think that you have the edge? Even though you guys have a similar number of fights, she's fought more so on, like, the local scene, and you've been on the bigger stage in some shows such as Bellator. Do you think that you have an advantage in terms of facing maybe higher quality opponents? Yeah, definitely. I mean, just being in front of a lot of eyes and, you know, having that kind of a uh, nervousness off the yet. I've also had like hundreds of wrestling matches in my career so you know being on the stage or being in the cage in front of people isn't something new to me. Um, I think uh, fighting people like Jessica Aguilar and Megumi Fuji definitely um, you know I, I know what the top level feels like and anything from there you know it's still going to be tough but um, it's definitely not going to intimidate me. You're well known for your wrestling ability. You're an incredible grappler. You're facing a well-known striker, Felice Herrig. Give me your prediction for the fight, and then tell fans why this is going to be one fight they do not want to miss. All right. Uh, my prediction for the fight is either a knockout or a submission. I know that I want to finish this fight. I got. I felt like I got robbed of my last fight, and you know, every time you leave it to a decision. You know, you, you leave it to the judges, and I want it to be in my hands, and I know it's going to be an exciting finish, and I don't think anyone will want to miss it. I think that Felice is a really controversial character. Um, I know that she definitely gets people talking. Uh, I know a lot of people have come up, come to me with some, you know, aggressive statements about, you know, beating her, you know, this and that, you better you know, kick the crap out of her and this and that. And, I mean, people always want me to win, you know, people that I might fans. But, yeah, there's definitely a lot of tension on this fight. I don't know her personally. She seems like a nice girl as far as I know. But um, in the case, I want to knock her out. I want to I want to finish her. So it's business. This is Aaron True, MMA Prime TV, joined by Carla Esparza. Thank you so much for the time. And tell everyone once again, where can we see you fight this weekend, December 2nd? I will be fighting on HGNet and I'll be in Tampa, Florida. Alright, well thank you very much for your time and best of luck.